am going to look for, this is a very dynamic pose with a big stretch, like a cat's. So I'm going to look for the biggest action line, which is something like that. Uh, and then try to find secondary lines. So we have something here. the leg that holds all the weight is somewhere down there. And uh, I think from there I can very quickly derive the location of ribcage, hips, You are very much uh, invited to draw with me. Draw along. Shoulder, arms. The point of this, this stream is pretty much for me to explain in real time like all my thought process when I'm drawing. And you're welcome to use the chat to ask any question. Right, so we have one elbow here, one elbow here. Face looking up. Up means we will have a very strong view of the underside of the face. Actually, my centering is not correct. Maybe that's it. We have the hips. They are nicely, of course, shown by the underwear here. Because the very first pictures we took with this model and uh, as it turned out, black on black is not ideal. So in other photos, we have changed the color. Uh, all the photos I'm using, I took myself. And um, I pride myself in that. I don't think there's anything bad with using photos from the internet. It's just that this is part of uh, how I see my own process going forward. That this is craftsmanship. So the legs have gesture. You see that I don't go straight. I make some slight curves. And there's always an inward C curve here on the shin bone. Um, calves. No foot. Now my foot needs to be, I think I'm going, I will go a little bit out of the picture for the foot, I'm sorry. I don't want to twist the anatomy just to fit on that image. So I do believe that it does go a little bit further than that. At least the toes are going out. Whereas the second one should sit nicely. I think inside. Okay, these are small construction lines. Uh, this is a little bit unresolved. Unresolved means that basically I don't have a lot of information going on about what, what exactly happens. And this is a long process of uh, basically you make a de decision making. You decide, do you want to keep this, this energy of the pose or are you starting to dig in? That really depends on the time. We decided to go for five minute, uh, 15 minutes. So that means now I'm five minutes in. I have a solid gesture. I don't want to dwell too much, to dwell too much in anatomy and so on. We have 10 minutes left. But I do want to have some sense of structure. For example, the ear. You see that the ear follows with the neck muscle there. Okay, I have the term in French, sternocleidomastoidien. I believe the English term is similar. But basically this muscle that makes a V-shape here is very, very essential for artists. 
because that tells you basically the rotation of the neck here and so on. Chest, here the chest is very stretched, but it doesn't mean it's not there, so we can still inform the new bones. Mm. Chest muscles going up. Here I don't remember exactly the name of this one. You have something under the armpit. And uh, just in the chat, there's something in the chat, but I'm not sure if you guys can see it. First time chat behind the screen, maybe not. Maybe it's maybe it's spam. I don't know. I'm not very familiar yet with Twitch. But uh, if you see some strange message, well, just leave it at that. I do not know what it is. I am very late in the internet game. All right, we have a beautiful core shadow going down his left side. So let's mark it. Going here. You notice that I don't take this. Uh, I hold my pencil differently. I don't want this too harsh a line. I have done, okay. <laughs> done that enough in my life. Letting a little bit of softness get that. All right, we have the abs, we have the obliques, We're kind of ignoring the underwear here, but obviously the line continues. It gets softer around the calves, uh, around the thighs, sorry, quads, because this is very rounded, it's just a lot of muscles. And then suddenly we have something much harder because we have the angle of knee. And these are bones. The end of the femur, the patella on top, beginning of the shin bone, and then going along, along the shin bone. And then it stops, if you notice, because now the light is hitting straight on the top of the foot. There is a second one coming, starting from the, I would say the hips, the crotch. Along the knee. Shin bone. And this time we have the side in the shadow, that side of this foot. How's the light? Um, I see that this side of the paper is very, very bright. I can try to adjust that if needed be. Okay, now I have to make a decision because there's pretty much two lights. And uh, these were some of the first pictures I took where the rim light in the right is a little bit too strong to my taste. So it we can decide that this is the first, that this is the actual uh, main light. But to be honest, this is the main light. And there's a bit of, uh, there was some learning process. Everything is a learning process. But uh, with art making especially. So we have to admit that the main light is on that side, even though it's tempting to get the ring light first. Okay, we have five minutes left. Uh, what do we do with this information? Well, let's just get the light. So here I can go very soft. Simply because we're dealing with muscles. The underside of the breast are more lit.
missing information in one crotch. But I believe that following pictures will be a little bit clearer. Okay. Oops. Let my stencils work. I wanted to say that you can get a little bit harder edge around the knee. And the inward curve of the shin bone. Even though the foot is in the light, I don't need to have it as hard as the rest. Same here. Soft, and then I get the knee a little bit harder, and then I'm going back down to the hands and foot. And this foot magically is completely in the light. Accentuate around the hips where it feels a little bit more tight. Yeah, it's really shaved here. We're missing some information. We can do with that. Okay, how does it look? Not too bad. Let's get him a sense of structure around the face so that. So we're going to keep losing, unfortunately, a bit of this bright white. Yeah, sorry about that. Okay, but this was a little bit too much out. Too bad because it still fall, falls within reasonable height. Okay.